Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys the one to four gear lockout that can occur on the Dodge Challenger with the six speed manual. I'll go over like what situations it may occur in um, and I'll also show you what it looks like in the gear shifter itself. So if you're curious, stay tuned and check it out. And I also wanna just give you guys a huge thank you for all of your support especially with the addition of my shaker to my channel. It's just been a blast, your support, your comments, your feedback, it's just meant a ton to me. My channel's starting to grow again and it's crazy exciting and I can't wait to get more content out to you guys. So without further ado, let's go check out that one to four gear lockout that occurs on the Challenger. And uh, thanks again for tuning in and like, subscribe and comment. Take care guys, thanks. All right, so what I'm gonna be showing you guys right now is just your standard first to second to third to fourth shift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna demonstrate what the skip shift looks like in the stick itself. So I'm going down to second, I'm approaching my stoplight. All right, so I'm gonna go, so first, to second, to third, to fourth. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate what the first to four gear lockout looks like in the shifter. Come on, here's our first to fourth. See how it locks it out? goes right to fourth and basically in order for that to happen you have to be going between the speeds of I think 18 and 22 miles an hour you have to be giving it less than um, less than quarter throttle um, and it will lock you out from shifting in a second and this is done primarily for fuel savings. Now I will tell you that on the highway, I have actually come to enjoy this slightly because I can just wind out first a little bit and go right into fourth at about 20. Saves me several gear shifts when you're in absolute stop and go traffic. So I do kind of like the lockout, but you know, I could also just go first to fourth um, if I wanted to and get the uh, skip shift eliminator. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys what it kind of looked like on the gear shift in that lockout. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys again. So I'm in first. You gotta wind out first quite a bit though see how it gets locked out now I'm in fourth and you can't even hear the motor but the good thing is is it's got plenty of torque so if you're just cruising along the city streets it's not a problem at all all right so I'm gonna do it one more time and I will try to shift it this way so you can get a better view on the top of the gear shifter. All right, so I'm in first. Take it up to about 3,300 RPMs and see how it just locks you right into fourth. It's kind of bizarre, especially when you're not expecting it, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what that looked like. I have received a bunch of questions on that because I know I mentioned it in my first video. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in and watching my demonstration of the first of four gear lockout. Um, I just kind of wanted to demonstrate it for you guys. I know I've received a bunch of questions about it and I just kind of wanted to see it and demonstrate it for myself. So hope you guys got something out of it and I will continue to have videos coming up. Probably about one or two videos a week. Got a nice long list of videos for you guys on the shaker. And if you guys are interested in the Dodge Challenger Shaker, 
maybe you're looking to potentially buy one or just interested to see you know what I have to share on it um, I highly recommend you guys to subscribe um, there are not a ton of channels out there who cover the shaker because they are a pretty rare beast and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and comment and I will catch you guys all here soon take care